Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Moto G with me and in this video we are going to look at the USB OTG functionality on the Moto G. The Moto G uh, comes in 8 or 16 GB variants and we do not have any micro SD card slot. But fortunately it does support USB OTG functionality. Uh, you need to purchase this USB OTG cable. It's a very simple cable. One end is micro USB and the second end will be just a USB port. So you can plug in USB adapters like thumb drives like this or it even works with keyboards and uh, uh, mouse i'll show you that also first let's plug in this and as you can see uh, the pen drive will blow that means it's getting powered and i have some uh, video files on this so we're going to play that and for that i'm going to use the mx video player and uh, as you can see we have the usb disk and we're going to use that and this is a 1080p video clip and if you see it's being powered by the usb and it's working perfectly so you can just load up your media like video files etc on this thumb drive and then view it using the usb otg cable so as you can see it works perfectly so let me get out of this one and now let me remove this usb otg cable and uh, let me also show you uh, it also works with keyboard and mouse and to show you that I have this uh, Logitech K400 uh, uh, keyboard. It also has a trackpad built in, uh, but you can use regular USB keyboards also. And this is the wireless receiver for that. So let me plug this in and we'll plug it in our Moto G like this. And it's plugged in. And uh, let me show you now. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And now if I uh, just move uh, this around, as you can see, let me just zoom a little bit. This is the trackpad. And as you can see, the mouse is moving. And also, let me open up, uh, uh, for example, the keyboard also works. Let me just uh, hit this. And as you can see, the keyboard is working. Let me type weather. I'm using the keyboard. And let me press enter. Again, as you can see, it also works perfectly. So you can also use the keyboard and the mouse with this Moto G using this USB OTG functionality. And as you can see, actually it automatically detects that a keyboard was uh, uh, inserted using this USB OTG cable and it allows you to actually customize the layout. So that's interesting. Uh, another thing that I noticed is that I was able to connect a PS3 controller to this uh, Moto G uh, and it powered fine, but sadly it was not working. So again, uh, you can expand the functionality of this Moto G using a simple USB OTG cable like this. I've also made about four or five other videos on this Moto G. Uh, the links for all those videos will be in the show notes. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.